video I will make a DC actuator using simple items like a DC motor, nuts and bolts. I went through some plans and this is the basic idea of what we're gonna do. For the chassis and the bolt holder we need something like a metal plate. I'm going to use this smaller one and you can use an acrylic seat, a wooden plate or whatever you want but since I want this to be robust I'm going to use this. I've made a groove here on a square of 2 by 2 centimeters, and then after I fold it and weld it I'll make a hole in the middle to act as a bearing or an axle holder or something like that. Determine how much of a stroke you want and use the appropriate bolt. This one here is a 7 centimeters, and since I want to have a stroke of 3.5 centimeters, and I'm going to implement this plan, I need to add another 2 millimeters and another 5, which is this nut here, to determine and find out how long this area needs to be to achieve a stroke of 3.5 centimeters clean. Alright, I made the chassis and I'm now ready to make the actuating part, which is going to be this one here. For my stroke, I figured out that I need uh, two sides of 5 cm and two that are going to be 2.7 cm wide. I was about to make this, but since this will need welding, I found out that I have a tube that has the exact size that I need. The interesting thing is that I could use this tube in the first place as if I cut the top off it makes exactly what I've made. So I cut this piece from the tube which is this one here but I'll change my plans a little bit as apparently I don't need this whole thing moving back and forth but only one piece of it, something like this. This is what I ended up with. I plan to use this as a wire puller so the wire will be attached on the side. It will work like that. an extra step of how to hide a real bad weld. Because this is moving freely, it needs a safety nut right here. everything is ready I'm going to use a piece of a PVC pipe on the spur gear of a DC motor and on the actuator so to make a PVC coupling and I'm going to heat this up so it fits on both sides <laughs> 